Hey guys and welcome to the channel, I'm Zemo, the dad in DPS, and today we're playing some more Dragon's Dogma 2, and I'm going to show you how to get some early game rewards. Now, what you're going to want to do is head to the city of Venworth, the capital city of the kingdom that we're in, and as you can see, we're over at Shakir's Inn. Now, once you're at Shakir's Inn, you're going to want to head upstairs. You can alternately, obviously, go and rest and you'll be sent upstairs, but there's also this little passageway that's kind of... Not concealed, but very easy to miss. And the first couple of times I was here, I missed it. But if you go around the back, you can go up these ladders and over here. Be careful not to fall off because that roof is slippy. And head on over to this roof. Now, once you get up here, there are a few different chests, as you can see. The first reward is directly in the middle, which is a Seeker's token. And we'll go into that in a little bit. But there's around, I think it's 250 of these in the game that you can collect and trade in for rewards. So our first reward that we've got is the Silver Rapier. Then we have in this chest the Savant's Boots. And last but not least, in this one, we have the Fairy Stone which is a cool little thing. One of my one of my followers has fell and died. So first off, we're going to show you the rewards. So from the inn, once again, what you're going to want to do is go out this door and then downstairs and then round this corner and you have your vocation uh, guild. But in the vocation guild, you can also trade in your seeker tokens. So because you can trade in your seeker tokens, you can just give this guy a seeker token and then you will get a fairy stone. As you can see, there is a big long list of them, and it was 220, not 250. Um, but you can see all the different things you can get from seeker tokens. Now we're going to look at the items that we picked up. So the first one is the silver rapier. Now I am a mage, so I can't use it at the moment. What I'm going to do is give it to my pawn because she is a shield class that um, I use for that. And what we'll do is we'll look at the sword. Now you can see it's quite significantly more powerful than the basic weapon that she's got, the trusty sword. So early game, this is a very, very powerful um, addition to your team if you've got a shield based class. And then we'll look at the Savant's legs. Now once again, you can see it's got quite a significant boost to things like magic defense and uh, defense as well as knockdown resistance and it's got the Debilitation resistance at the bottom. Very good for early game. Um, also gets me out of. Nope, I'm still in pants. God damn it. Um, but yeah, it's it's a very good early game set of rewards that you can use to help you in your journey. Either way, guys, if you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.